This is Lewis Ritson and you're watching Sport Icons. Right, so Ted Cheeseman goes up against 28-0 Spaniard. Sergio Garcia, the European champion. Of course, Ted Cheeseman last time out, um, he defeated the senior Barfield to just get the British Super Welterweight Championship. Um, and he got thrown straight in and potentially too soon. And I'm not necessarily talking about too soon in, in his career. I'm talking too soon after his last fight. Um, it does seem that he didn't get enough rest time. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I could be, could be making excuses for him. Could be a whole multitude of things. But Sergio Garcia, I said he's 28-0. and 0, And he's got a work rate that I just haven't seen, really. I mean, this fight almost mirrored Lewis Ritson versus Patera. You see, when Lewis Ritson, he got the British title, okay, he defended a couple of times and then went up to European level. But the work rate of these Europeans, they just keep on punching. When they get hit, they keep on coming forward and coming forward. And this was pretty much the same kind of way with Ted Cheeseman and Sergio Garcia in the sense of that, although it was Ted Cheeseman, he was the one holding the center of the ring. He was the one keep on coming forward. His defense was pretty good. Thankfully, it was pretty good. But Sergio Garcia just didn't stop moving, didn't stop throwing punches from round one to round number 12. Uh, Ted Cheeseman, he did hurt Garcia. Um, on a couple of occasions but again that was later on in the fight um but eddie hearn kind of like does this um and i always felt that um ted cheeseman while he is above british level that's for sure but against somebody like sergio garcia sergio garcia he may be european champion but he's certainly world level so putting him in there against ted cheeseman in my opinion was too soon but Listen, you never know, this is boxing. And Ted Cheeseman showed the heart of a lion and just kept on coming forward, had a will to win, that's for sure. Um, got hit with some big, big shots and just kept on coming forward. I mean, his face was an absolute mess. Um, he was caught with some great uppercuts and it was just getting jabbed. But I mean, thankfully, as I said, Ted Cheeseman's defense is pretty damn good. But as Lewis Ritson found out, you can't just keep on coming forward especially against these Europeans. You can't because the Europeans' work rate is sky high. Thankfully, again, Ted Cheeseman, not only has he has a huge, huge heart, but he has a very good engine on him as well. So his stamina is very, very good. Um, but I do think that this is almost poor matchmaking on the part of Eddie Hearn. I ain't going to lie. Um, I do feel that not enough time was took to look at Sergio Garcia. That's just my honest opinion. I mean, he's managed by um, Martinez, of course, legend of boxing. And Martinez considers him to be a world champion at some point. High, high hopes for him. So that in itself should tell you that he's world level. If Martinez is saying it, not just as his manager or anything, but if he's saying this, you really need to look at it. Now, Ted Cheeseman, he's a warrior. He'll fight anybody on any time. I mean, he is still the British champion. Um, like that's for sure. I did feel that he needed to defend that title against a Scott Fitzgerald or Anthony Fowler and, and just kind of gradually go up. But listen, this opportunity presented himself. Ted Cheeseman, he's a warrior. He's like, yeah, let's do it. And listen, I'm not too sure anybody could have withstood the kind of um, work rate from Sergio Garcia like Ted Cheeseman did. To be honest, I mean, Sergio Garcia, you put him in there against any 154 pounder and they're going to have one hell of a night. That is for sure. Um, but um, thankfully, Ted Cheese has got a very good um, heart, very good chin, excellent work rate, very good defense. Which you can't say the same for everybody at 154. You really can't. And hopefully, I mean, listen, Ted Cheese is going to be very, very upset about this. And I'm absolutely gutted for him. Truly, truly gutted for him. But he's going to learn from this. I mean, he's 23 years old. He's got a long, long career ahead of him. And as I've said to many, many fighters now, a loss should never define your career. Listen, he's going to be down in the dumps for a little while. That's for sure. And, you know, he's going to be sore as well. That's for sure. But Sergio Garcia is a phenomenal, phenomenal fighter. You put him in there against the Charlo. You put him in there against Tony Harrison. In fact, I think he beats Tony Harrison, to be fair. I really do, and comfortably. But, listen, it's a step up 
too early, too quick, especially after Ted Cheeseman for a senior pie field. That's just my opinion. I don't feel that Ted Cheeseman had enough time to recuperate. Again, just my opinion. Of course, I don't know. And of course, putting him on as a headliner so early on in his career. Eddie Hearn has this thing about trying to make the next big star. And I understand it. I do understand it. And I, and I do believe Ted Cheeseman will be world champion one day. And he will be headlining shows. But to try and do it straight away, it's not a good look. It really isn't. Much like he tried to do it with uh, Lewis Ritson. Again, Patera was overlooked, in my opinion. Bad matchmaking. Bad, bad matchmaking. But anyway, Ted Cheeseman, he can take a lot from this one. The fact that he can sustain a lot of punishment and keep on coming forward. And he will never, ever, in my opinion, Ted Cheeseman will never, ever, ever sustain this kind of barrage of punches against anybody again. I really don't think so. So, listen, he managed to see the finish line and he was trying to go for the knockout, even, even in the 12th round. So, yeah, I mean, big up Ted Cheeseman. Um, there's not much more he could have really done, to be honest. When somebody is just permanently moving and permanently throwing punches, what on earth can you do? There's nothing you can do, is there? So, anyway, uh, congratulations to Sergio Garcia. Uh, Ted Cheeseman will bounce back. I'm very, very confident of it. He does need to take some time off and recuperate. That's my honest thoughts on it. But anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.